Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to back up your Arduino sketches for free using Bitbucket. Bitbucket is a source control service very similar to GitHub. One advantage that Bitbucket has over GitHub is it allows for private repositories for free. I do think GitHub is a bit easier to use for beginners, but private repositories cost at least $7 a month on GitHub. So why is this important? If your hard drive broke today, how many Arduino sketches would you lose? Another useful feature about this setup is you'll have access to your sketches even when you're not on the computer you wrote them on. Setting this up is free and will only take a couple of minutes, so there's really no reason not to do it. There are some configuration steps I'll go through in this video that you'll only need to set up once. After that, your sketches will only take seconds to back up. The first thing you'll need to do is go to bitbucket.org and create an account. Then go to sourcetreeapp.com and download the application. I'll leave links to both of these in the description below. When you're installing the Sourcetree application, log in using your newly created Bitbucket account. Follow the instructions on screen until you get to the part about cloning a repository. When you get to there, you can just click Skip Setup. When asked about an SSH key, click No and we'll create one now. Click on Tools and Create or Import SSH key. Click Generate and move your mouse around to generate a random key. Enter in a passphrase and save your public and private key. We'll use the private key later in the video. Then copy the generated key to your clipboard. Click on your profile on the Bitbucket website and click Bitbucket settings. Then click SSH keys and add your key. Paste your key in here. The label can be anything you want. In source tree, click clone slash new and create a new repository. Navigate to the Arduino folder and click create. You then should see all your Arduino files in source tree. At the moment, most of the files are from the libraries folder, which I don't really want. So you can right click on one of them and click ignore and then click ignore everything beneath libraries. You then need to click stage all and type in a commit message and hit commit. This will commit the files locally. On Bitbucket's webpage, create a new repository. Call it whatever you'd like. Make sure you mark the repository as private so it's not publicly accessible. Once you've created the repository, grab the SSH URL for it and copy it to your clipboard. In source tree, click repository, add remote, and then click add. Click default remote and paste in the URL that you copied. We now want to push the code up to Bitbucket, so click push and push again. You'll now need to add your key to source tree. So click yes and right click on the page and icon down in the taskbar and click add key. Navigate to the private key that you created earlier and type in your passphrase. You can then click retry and it should push your code up to Bitbucket. You'll only need to add your key the first time. Now if you refresh the repository page on Bitbucket, your code should be there under the source tab. Now that we're all configured, let's show how easy it is to back up from now on. In the Arduino IDE, create a new sketch and name it whatever you want. Now in source tree, if you click on work and copy, click stage all, type in your commit comment and check the push changes immediately checkbox and click commit. It'll push the changes straight to Bitbucket. Hopefully you find this video useful. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Check out some of the other videos on my channel where I mainly talk about using the ESP8266 with the Arduino IDE. Thanks a lot.